this is what happens when you're not being careful with your awesome blood magic pickaxe. Watch what happens when I get close to the lava. It suppresses fluids just away from me. The Necronomicon. Shift right click. Ah, there we go. That is really cool. Ah ha ha. Ah ha. Okay, all those items disappeared. You would think something would happen, right? Oh! Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. It is Slider Havoc here, and we are back on the Revenge of the Sea Team server. And today, you know, okay, I gotta stop doing my opening like that. I figure by now you guys know who I am. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you guys know who I am, and I don't need to tell you who I am anymore. Oh, I still gotta fix that little part right there. Um, anyways, today we are gonna be doing, um, well, well, a lot of fun. I wanna start digging into another one of the mods, one of the bigger mods in the mod pack, which is Abyssal Craft. So I put together a little chest of everything that I could find in my inventory that was Abyssal Craft related, because I know absolutely nothing about this mod. And when I mean, when I say nothing, I mean absolutely nothing. Like, all I know is there's a couple new dimensions, which I guess in sake of all the, the dimensions I've been hunting down and stuff like that would be a really good idea. But really, I don't know anything about it. I did go mining and did a little bit of mining to get some starting materials. So we've got some Abyssal Knight ingots, and I left one of the ores here. We've got some of these Corillium gems, and then uh, some of this Catalyzed Zinc. And some of these shards that we got when we were in the Darklands. And a refined Corellium ore. That's all I have. But I know that there's a book. And I believe it's called the Necronomicon. Uh, let's see. Necro. Yes. So there's the Necronomicon. And then apparently there's Abyssal Wastecraft. So these, I'm assuming, is stuff like I get um, as the level skin of the Dreadlands and uh, skin of the awful. So I'm assuming that these have, oh, necromancer staff. Oh, that's evil craft. So we're gonna make this first one because I know I can make of this. So it's a book, some rotten flesh and some iron. <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and get going on this because I'm kind of excited. I mean, anytime there's potential to go to a new uh, dimension and check some stuff out, I am all about that, right? Because, well, that's awesome, right? And what did I need? Oh, flesh. I need some rotten flesh. I think these were some of my old deaths. Yeah, those are all my old deaths. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think it was. So we're going to make this book up real quick. And let's see what it has to say. So, um, forbidden knowledge. Uh, machines. There's machines. That doesn't seem to take me anywhere. Overworld. Uh, materials. Okay, I've found some of the Bisselonite. Darkstone, I've found tons of that. Uh, Corillium, I found that. That's where I got the little things. Uh, Darklands Oaks, uh, not too worried about that. Niter, I've got tons of that. Uh, liquid Antimatter is a new liquid found underground in Corillium infested swamps. Oh, interesting. Uh, it has the ability to dematerialize entities and also force other liquids to solidify upon collision. Interesting. If you happen to fall into a pool of liquid antimatter, you will likely die within approximately five seconds, as it deals a large amount of damage in a very short time, making it quite hard to avoid certain death when getting in contact with it. Uh, the grass, that's cool. Okay, so that's all good and stuff like that for the materials. Progression, that would be, um, in order to reach the Abyssal Wasteland, you must uh, craft a gateway key. Okay, cool. Uh, which requires one to travel to the nether and to visit Darklands in water-based biome. The water-based biome can be either a swamp or an ocean biome, which is actually where I got all the Corellium stuff. Uh, for the nether, you'll need two blaze rods and probably a few more later. Uh, do I have any, or do we actually have to take a trip to the nether? Blaze. I only have blaze powder. So that might be our first step, is uh, go get ourselves um, some blaze rods. Because uh, if I look up the gateway key, let's check that out. Because that's what we need to make to open up that dimension. Okay, so two blaze rods, that's easy. Uh, Corellium Pearl is made with either Protestant Ore. Uh, there's no recipe for that. Or that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's the difference? Two for three, two for three. Oh, it's three, 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 or two, three, four. Okay, cool. I see that. Stone, and I got, I got plenty of those. So we can do that pretty easily. Uh, just random recipes. 
Basically, it just takes nine of them. Okay, I got that. I got that. And this guy. Ooh. This is going to be a ritual. Okay. Eye of Ender, we can make. Uh, Red Shard of Oblivion. See, this is where we're going to have to start making some stuff. Transmutated Gem and Shadow Gems. Shadow Gems is made with nine uh, Shadow Gem Shards and Shards Fragments. Okay. So, we can do that. I don't know if I have enough yet. And then Redstone and Eye of Ender, and we can do that. So we'll look into the ritual in a second. Let's go to the nether and get ourselves some uh, blaze rods because that is what we're going to need for the handle. And, uh, well, we'll get started on this. I'm excited because, I mean, when you have four different dimensions and there's, like, different bosses and stuff to fight, I think that adds, like, a whole lot because, you know, one of the things I will always say that, uh, you know, Minecraft itself is kind of missing is, you know, more bosses and stuff like that. Like, you get the Wither here, or you can do the, you know, the Ender Dragon, but that's kind of it. Like, I mean, that's not kind of it. That really is it. Hey! Who's shooting at me? And, oh, and while I'm flying around, I should probably show you this. So, I made the sigil here, right? Or, this right here is the sigil of holding. And if I get over here... Oh, I got night vision on. That's why everything looks so weird. There we go. Um, if I right-click, you'll see that it actually holds five of my sigils. So I'd already had the lava sigil, and I've already had the divination sigil, and the compression sigil I think I already showed you. <coughs> I made a water sigil because I figured that would be in, uh, pretty useful. And then I made the sigil of suppression. And um, it's not too difficult to make. It's, it's one sigil inside of another sigil, and yeah, that's how that one was made. And, oh, hello, yes. We know all about you, Anu. We've, we've talked about you. You will be visited very, very soon. But we're going to go and find some blaze rods real quick and get started. Because we're not dealing with fossils and archaeology at the moment. We are dealing with abyssal craft. Oh, so anyways, the reason I was explaining this uh, sigil holding here is if you hold, like, left shift, you can cycle through these. I don't need it. Oh, yeah, I need to turn you off. There we go. I've got this sigil suppression here. So this is off. Watch what happens when I get close to the lava. It suppresses fluids away from me. I can do this in water. I can do this in lava. I can do this with any fluid. It's always going to suppress them away from me. Now, even if I don't have it selected, it still works. It still suppresses. That is freaking awesome. I don't ever have to worry about being burnt by lava ever again. Look, it just disappears before I can even... If I'm trying to fly as fast as possible, it still goes away. I don't have to worry about it. That's awesome. I never have to worry about drowning. I never have to worry about burning in lava again. And perfect. Just what I was looking for. So we can go find some blazes. And get ourselves some blaze rods. And if I see a wither, I'm going to shoot him. Or a wither skeleton, I mean. I'm going to shoot him. But I believe, yes. I knew where you were at. I can't believe that freaking... Uh, Experience orb was still there. It's been a long time since I've been over here. Um, come on, man. Spawn. Come on, man. Spawn. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm on fire. I don't want to be on fire. Where did that... I, I know I saw a blazer rod drop. There we go. Let's get some blaze rods. Out of all that, I only got one blaze rod. Seriously? I might stick around for a minute and get a couple of them. Well, I need at least two anyway, so might as well grab more for potentially later. Really? Are you all that scared of me? You just stopped fighting after one round? Come on, man. <clears throat> there we go. Pew! 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 There we go. Now we got a couple of them. Maybe they just don't spawn that fast, and you don't realize it when you're trying to kill them normally. But when I got the the one hit a quit a here with my uh, ion sniper, uh, I kill them so fast I have to wait for a while for them to spawn. Yep. Quit lighting me on fire. That's just annoying. Okay. I've got five blaze rods. I think that'll be enough for right now. We don't need a lot. We just needed two for the handle. 
and then hopefully we can make the rest of it. So we've got a ritual to make, which is really, really cool. I love rituals. I love when there's like, you know, a cool kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, magical aspect to, the, you know, some of these mods and stuff. Because if you watch my Tragic Magic series, you understand that I absolutely loved Blood Magic. And um, who was doing what? Um, I believe Mr. Saint was doing Thongcraft, which is really, really cool. He did a lot of cool stuff with that. And then I believe Sir Olin was doing uh, Batania. And that one was really, really cool. And then I started dipping into Witchery, but uh, we kind of just got bogged down with school and stuff like that. We weren't able to keep up the series. And um, so we kind of you know, chilled out on that for a while, but, you know, we've talked about actually bringing that one back, because we actually had a lot of fun with that, and <clears throat> there's potential for that, but why, why am I spawning, where, why am I spawning in the village? I should have spawned through my portal, my portal's still open. Why am I spawning in the village? I don't need to go to the stinking village. Well, I guess we'll, I guess it's kind of the same, and then this is going to put me in the same room right here. That's really interesting that it spawned me in the village. I wonder if someone accidentally opened a portal there. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, now we've got the blaze rods. Now let's go ahead and make some of those corallium pearl things. Um, so if I remember correctly, I'm going to need two of them, right? And it was six stone per, so I'm going to need 12 stone. There we go. I can go back to human form for this. And I don't need any sulfur, so I can get rid of that. And let's grab some of these curlium things here. So I need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, that's 10. 10. There we go. I'm going to stack you back up. And I believe you just stack them next to each other to make more. Yep. There we go. And then I have three of these. Cool. And then I just do that. And that and that. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I need two of these. So I need nine more of those. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do the same thing over again. There we go. And then do you and you like that. And then we'll go smelt this bad boy. And I think I actually have one of these already. I think I found it in a chest, as a matter of fact. So that's cool, because I didn't know how rare they were. But uh, getting that stuff is not easy by any means. All right. Um, no, not the pulverizer. I want to put you in the furnace. And then it should melt down to that little pearl thing we need. Yes, Carillion Pearl. All right. All right, so we've got four of the five items. We're, we're on the right path. Um, now we just got to make this guy. So Shroud of Oblivion, how do we make this thing? Okay, so we're going to have definitely have to do this ritual. Oh, I'm going to need a, another Corellium Pearl. Okay. So we'll go make more of those. And um, I can actually see if I have... I'm pretty sure I have one more of those in my chest. Um, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure I do. And why am I not getting max speed right now? What is going on that reduced my speed? I don't know. Um, Corellium? Nope. But it's okay, because we just saw we can make these really, really easily. So I just need nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll need some stone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty simple recipe, I think. I mean, I it took a while. If if you guys could see how much mining it took just to get the like the little over a stack of Corellium that I have, these little I don't know, whatever you call gem clusters or whatever. Uh, it took a while. It, it took a long while. But let's get into the rituals here. All right. Uh, rituals. Um, check the information section for information rituals or the other sections for information about available ritual location specifies where the ritual can be performed. Interesting. Um, getting started. Okay. So in order to get started with rituals, you need to create the altar to perform them. Um, oh, perform them at. Okay. There's a total of eight materials you can create your ritual altar from. Those are cobblestone, dark cobblestone, abyssal stone brick, krillium brick, dead stone. Okay, so we got cobble. We got plenty of cobble. Uh, the materials can only be used in the specific dimension. Cobblestone and dark cobblestone in the overworld. Abyssal, okay, so we just make those in the other dimensions. That's easy, easy, easy. To create the altar, simply place the blocks 
In the above formation, keep the colored area clear and shift right click to center uh, the center block with the Necronomicon. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. And it creates this. After that, you can start performing rituals. Oh, that's really, really cool. Okay. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine cobble. I can do that. I think I have a few, like a thousand of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Now I have to figure out where I want to do my Bizzlecraft stuff. Um, let me take a look around the area. Where, where, where will we do the Abyssal Craft stuff? I want to have a cool build for it too. Um, wow, Jurassic Park. We still need to work on you. Um, maybe over here. I wow. I've covered a lot of area here. Uh, where would we want to do the Abyssal Craft stuff? You know what? Actually, this area right here might be good. I can do a build pretty simply right here. Come on, fall. Fall. Here we go. All right. So do we have uh, rituals, information, getting started? All right. So it's one, two up, two right, and then that one is kind of on the outside. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I think this is going to be the area we're going to do it in. <coughs> clear this area out a little bit and might bring this level up a little bit or maybe I'll take this all down a little bit since I've got you I can do this pretty quickly <coughs> Let me get back into human form here hey there we go all right yeah I think we can probably do a pretty cool build around here Oops. Make sure we just have enough, at least for the ritual right now. That's it. It looks really cool. All right. Um, just take you out. There we go. I will make this all clean and pretty later. I promise. This is literally just to get this ritual going. And then it'll be another building build, which I'm all right with. All right. I don't really need the mushrooms right now, but thank you for those. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot I had silk touch on my shovel. I'm like picking all this grass up. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this whole area down. Okay. Gourd garden. Got plenty of those. I am still kind of upset about the fact that I don't need food anymore. I mean, I, I shouldn't say upset. It's just, oh man, I spent so much time on all that Pam's Harvest Craft stuff and now I don't need it anymore. It feels like it was like, you know, time that I could have spent elsewhere if I would have known I wasn't going to need food. But hey, remember, if you remember at the very beginning, I said I was going to stay vegan. Well, I think eating absolutely nothing is pretty darn vegan. All right, so. Where's the cobble? The cobble is right here. Alrighty. So it was one here and then skip two, one here, skip two, one there, skip two, one there, skip two, one there. And then it was this spot, this spot, this one, and this one. And it just says right click with the Necronomicon. Shift right click. Ah, there we go. That is really cool. That is really, 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 really cool. Okay, so there was a couple things we needed to make. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to fly over and put that other pearl in there because we're going to need one more. And then I'll get the recipes for those things. Oh, man. I love rituals, man. Rituals are just cool. Really, really cool. Okay, so we'll cook you up. I've already got two on me, so I have the one for the first one. All right, so we're making this gateway key, okay? So that's one ritual. But to make these things, I need this transmutation gem. So I'm going to need two diamonds, two ender pearls, um, and four blaze rods. And what's this PE stuff about? I'm going to have to find out about that because I think that's like a power source, which would be really weird for this because magic doesn't use power. Um, so I'm going to need two diamonds. 
I'm going to need two ender pearls, and I'm going to need four blaze rod. All right. And let me dump all this junk. I don't need the grass, don't need the wood, dirt, flowers, whatever. Um, all these foods that I don't need. All right, so we've got the diamonds, we've got the ender pearls, and we've got the blaze powder. I've got that pearl, so I don't know. Does this say anything? Oh, see, it says I have zero of 500 or 5,000 PE. Hold on, what's this PE stuff? Um, forbidden knowledge. Petrons? No. Um, Abyssal craft. What's this PE stuff about? Um, I don't know. Abyssal con, uh, overworld, entities, special armor and tools, special materials. Yeah, got that. I can make those. Um, Shard of Oblivion is crafted from shadow gems and a transmutated gem. Oh, hold on. I'm going to need four of these, aren't I? Yes, I am. So I'm going to need more of these. Wow. Okay, just realizing that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to need a lot more stone, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one extra, apparently. All right, so let's get this going here. We got three of those. Didn't even think about that. I'm not like doing the math here. Okay, and I'll go throw those in the furnace. But this PE stuff, what, what is PE? Like, how do I get this stuff? Um, We'll figure this out. We've got about five minutes to do this in. We can figure this out. P.E. So let's read while this is working. Um, forbidden knowledge. No. Spellbook. Uh, this section's been complete. Okay. Rituals. Normal. Okay. P.E. Okay. I finally figured out what P.E. is. And now it's making me think that I might need to get some more materials before we even get started on this. Um, what PE is, is potential energy. And it's created by a little podium thing that we can make. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. We've got to make these into these. There we go. So we've got 36 of these. And then these get made into these shadow gems. So there's the four shadow gems. But we need one to make this pedestal thing. And then I need another one of these pearls. So we're going to have to make more of those. But we're going to go find... Um, I don't remember if we've ever... Oh, I need to be careful with that. I keep destroying stuff. I don't know if we've ever gone into any of these. But, like, in the watery areas, there's these big, big black, black boxes, I guess you would call them. And there's stone in them that we can use. I haven't seen one in a while. But I know I've seen them in the water before. It's a big black box that has monsters in it like that right there that's definitely one of them right there how far is that from my house well that's like really far let's find one a little closer i don't know if there is any around my house though i haven't seen one in a while. oh there's one right there cool just south of us sweet so we're gonna head south real quick and try to go get oh you know what i've got my awesome pickaxe so i know we can just go in and get it really really quickly because we're going to need that, that gem I just made, and then... Oh, there it is right there. Oh, there's one right there, too. Didn't know... There, there's three of them right here. Okay, cool. Well, I found them pretty quickly, so that's cool. So we're just going to bonsai in real quick and grab some of this material. Sweet. That worked. Now we got lots of monolith stone. Cool. Sorry I wrecked you. <laughs> but uh, we need that stone. Let me turn this off along with one of these pearls and uh, one of these gems here to make an uh, energy pedestal. And it just says that's to be in a clear sky. If I remember correctly, I, well, actually, I don't remember at all, but um, it was like this, this, and then like this. No. These two were switched. Yes, okay, energy pedestal. There we go. All right. And then I set this down, and it, apparently it collects energy, and then if I put my uh, Necronomicon on it, it will store energy. 
So we should be able to get this done and hopefully get this little key done and then we'll, uh, we'll rock some more later. All right, so this is gonna start storing energy and it doesn't seem to have like any type of interface to react with it, but if I place the Necronomicon on it, I saw little smoky particles, there we go. So let's make sure this is working here. If I take you off, what do you have? You have one PE now, okay. So we're gonna let you cook up while we go make a couple more of these things. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need more of these shards because I believe, how many did that? Oh, I got the Necronomicon cooking. Um, we're gonna need at least one more of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, oh, I put that in the chest, not in my inventory. And, wow, I picked up a lot of stuff when I did that. And stone, I'm gonna need some more stone. I only have two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can go cook that up real quick and grab my other pearl that we have. Do, do, do. So we're gonna go grab that other pearl. We should have enough pearls. Uh, well, we're gonna make more pearl, another pearl. And hopefully we have everything we need. I really, oh, there's like four in here. Did I, I don't remember making four, but anyways. Um, some cobblestone. Oh man, I took the time to grab that cobblestone. I got all this cobblestone right here. Well, I can go throw that in my my awesome little thing right here. So this is kind of my way to donate to the cause now. I just open this little hatch and throw stuff in. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that monolith stone, but I'll throw the limestone in and some marble in, and that should be good. I'm gonna close you. I did level that entire area, which I showed you in a little clip at the very beginning. Um, with my pickaxe, which by the way, is it turned off? Yes, it is turned off. Okay, cool. And now we can make this guy and go like that and like that and like that and throw you in here because you should be quick. And now we've got a couple extra ones. So we should, we have six of these now. We should, we should be good for the moment, right? And now hopefully, I don't know how long uh, it's going to take for that uh, book to power up because it said 300 for one and 4,000 for another so we might at least get part of this done today and then uh, in our next episode I'll just leave the book charging and okay it's got 79 so I need 300 so that's going to take a while um, but we can get this set up and then yeah when we pick up in the next episode we can get all this stuff done because I'll just keep this thing charging while we're gone um Let's do it like this. Uh, where are you at? Key. Gateway key. All right. Where are you at? Gateway key. There we go. So it was this thing we need to make. That one's 2,000. Okay, that's not two. I mean, we can do that. And then I need these things right here. And that's 300. But I'm going to need like four of those. So that's going to take some time. But I can get this set up with Blaze, Diamond, Diamond, Pearl, Pearl, and that guy in the middle. So let's set this guy up, and then we'll probably come back and start next episode doing this. Um, like that, and like that. And then for Blaze, like that, 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 that. And I'm assuming I just hit it with the... Uh, oh, wait, i got to put the guy in the middle here. Hopefully I'm not like wasting this. So I left this on the pedestal for a little while longer. And I just think I, I got to test this out. So we're at 304. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a witch. Hey, that's not what you were supposed to do. Hey, leave me alone, man. I wasn't bothering you. I'm over here trying to play with a whole nother mod. Leave me alone. All right. So let's go ahead. Hopefully it doesn't put all of them on there. Cool. And I want to say, it, okay, that's just not working. How do I shift right click? Ah, ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, all those items disappeared. You would think something would happen, right? Oh! Are my particles turned off? Is that what it is? All right, did we get one? So we've got one of these transmutation gems. All right, so we are a step in the right direction. No, because my particles are there. I, I, I read something that said like a whole bunch of smoke and stuff like that was supposed to go from the pedestals to this middle thing, but apparently... 
it doesn't happen like that anymore. So we'll go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. And then uh, when we come back in the next episode, we will start getting going on these rituals. And then hopefully, it, if we do everything right, we'll be able to take a trip to uh, the very first dimension of Abyssalcraft. So until next time, guys, I'm Slider Havoc. Uh, if you liked what you saw, comments, uh, likes, subscriptions, whatever. Yeah, do it. All right. Till next time. Peace.